Aunt Jennifer's Tigers, composed by Adrian Rick, explained by Salem Sutta. Welcome to the poetry series. Here you will come across the poem, the poet, the theme, the summary, and line by line explanation. Well, Aunt Jennifer's Tigers. Aunt Jennifer's Tigers prance across the screen, bright to past denizens of a world. They do not fear the men beneath the tree. They pace in sleek chivalric certainty. Aunt Jennifer's fingers fluttering through her wool. Find even the ivory needle hard to pull. The massive weight of uncle's wedding band sits heavily upon Aunt Jennifer's hand. When aunt is dead, her terrified hands will lie, still ringed with ordeals she was mastered by. The tigers in the panel that she made will go on prancing proud and unafraid. The poet, Adrian Rick was born in the USA. She is widely known for her involvement in contemporary women's movement as a poet and theorist. She has published 19 volumes of poetry, three collections of essays and other writings. A strong resistance to racism, militarism echoes through her work. The poet Aunt Jennifer Stigers addresses the constraints of a married, married life that a woman experiences. The theme this is a symbolic poem expressed in third person, highlighting the conflicts, issues, struggles that a woman has to face in a male chauvinistic society. Aunt Jennifer is essentially the protagonist in the poem and she represents the victimized women across the globe of undue male domination. Embroidery to somebody is a pastime, to somebody a profession, but to Aunt Jennifer a medium of expression of her inner personality. Generally beautiful designs are embroidered by common folk. But Aunt Jennifer is not so. She has been undergoing a lot, lot of life of suffocation due to her unruly husband's unjust activities. Hence, she stitches the majestic tigers as a manifestation of her inner intrepid, bold and fearless qualities. Intrepid, bold. What an irony. The lady in fear draws fearless tigers. What an irony this is. Now let's go. Line by line explanation. Aunt Jennifer's tigers prance across the screen. Aunt Jennifer's embroidered bronzing tigers represent her suppressed desires to bounce back. Bright Tobas denizens of a world of green. The bright golden shaded, see this is stop as tigers are described as denizens. Denizens are dwellers of dense green forest. They do not fear the men beneath the tree. Tigers are usually fearless and have superiority complex. This shows that Aunt Jennifer has a deep desire to live on her terms and conditions in the male dominated society. These unreal tigers are the images created by her as an alternate world of freedom. They peace, pace in sleek chivalric certainty. Chivalric, knightly or brave. The tigers move about with a grace, elegance and confidence which symbolize her dreams, her desire to be free from the current traumatized life. Aunt Jennifer insists upon the women to have fighting spirit against their male oppressors. Aunt Jennifer's fingers fluttering through her wool find even the ivory needle hard to pull. Her fingers are tottering because she is nervous, scared of her husband. She cannot even pull the ivory needle through the tapestry because of her trembling fingers. The massive weight of uncle's wedding band sits heavily upon Aunt Jennifer's hand. Even her wedding ring seems to be of unbearable weight and burden on her. What a hyperbole, you see. She feels burdened with her undue and unjust marital responsibilities. 
When aunt is dead, her terrified hands will lie still ringed with the ordeals she was mastered by. The heaviness of the ring may be due to the miserable life that she has had through her, perhaps because of a spiteful and ruffian husband. The part says that her aunt will not only be relieved of her trauma, but also will always be subjugated by the burden of marital ordeals even after her death. The tigers in the panel that she made will go on prancing, proud and unafraid. The tigers are created by Aunt Jennifer will remain eternal within her and they will always be proud and fearless jumping and moving with elegance and grace. Let us have a glimpse at the prancing, proud and unafraid tiger once again. <laughs>